The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Babe Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I- You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, and we're kicking into the 4th of July, folks, and let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best to mean take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. And thank God the Founding Fathers took action on their idea. You'll love it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 209, NASDAQ up 44, S&P's up 21, gold contract up dollar at 1808. Silver down 55 cents, 19 dollars 80 cents an ounce. Platinum off 20 bucks, 8.75 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 2 dollars 59 cents, trading at 108.34. The notes and bonds, the 10 year note up one tick, up up one point rather. Trading at a price point of 119.18, 30 year up a full point plus six ticks at 139.26 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up by 434 ticks, trading 105.118, Euro at 104, Yen at 135.25, and the British Pound at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, the bottom line, folks, is that we kick in into the holiday. You come down yesterday with volume. You go up today with light volume. Bottom line, that's the whole deal about building cars for lower price, okay? So, you know, yesterday you could out go south with 112 million. You go up today with 51 million. That's in your, sp- in your spy. And your, excuse me, folks, in your three Qs, what you have out here is that you're up 81 cents yesterday. We go south with 79 million today. You go uh, north with 43. Uh, bottom line, you still got the ABC structures on the way down. <coughs> and I expect those are going to get hit. Gold, this is this really intriguing what happened with gold out here this morning. So they smoke gold in, in a monster way. Gold basically it gets down to, well, not basically, it gets down to 18, uh, 1783. Uh, it was trading down all night. And then guess what? You know, 820 in the morning is when the pit opens. And so uh, the folks in the pit decided, hey, man, I'll, I'll buy gold uh, at this uh, 1783. They, they took the bait. They bought it. That being said, folks, see that number up there? 232,000 contracts. Not a good number. Why? Because that's a high volume low now. And when you actually take a look at this, if you're watching Tiger TV right now, you're going to see it. All this is done. You know, bottom line, we had made it up to 1826 yesterday, and it can't, it's coming right up to ice, man. Ice is laying out right here at about the 1813 level, and we got to 1810. Silver. I, I, we got to look at the silver one because, ah, uh, let's see. Because what has happened here. They really took silver cell. That, that's what happens. I mean, the, the bottom line, S, uh, S-I-N, uh, S, S-I, let me see this. What is this active contract? Come on, baby. Well, I'll take this contract. This is not the active, but I'll take it anyway. Okay, so let's see. 
what this thing broke. Whoops. Come on. Okay, so this baby here. Ooh. Okay, so I gotta go SI1. I gotta get the generic contract on silver. And you know, bottom line is that you know gold has been stronger than silver. Yeah, uh, but that that being said, I just we want to see what this is going into. Okay, so okay, I see. So you come with that large strength, seventeen ninety four. We hit 1926. Well, silver's got to get back inside 2141. Oh, this baby wants to get down into that 1794 level. Pretty intense. Now, let's go to the 10 year because what we have out here, the, you, you get a you bounce going in the 10 year and the 30 year. The, we did 189,000 contracts. Not a lot of contract volume, but this, this is the time that you do a bounce. There's no doubt, man. Um, you know, so your next leg here is 120.19, hit 120.04. Um, the volume's not bad. You know, we, we took out a B point, but it's not going to be an ABC up because the B point had 2.2 million contracts and you're at 189 right now. Uh, if we go take, let's go take a look at the TLT. That's the, the TLT is the 20 year plus now. Uh, the TLT, that goes, yeah, there you go. That goes up. Look, see how light the volume is there on the TLT? Bottom line, you're coming into uh, 28 million, doing 17 million. That's on the daily. Let's put this on the weekly. Yeah, so the weekly, you're coming up to a swing. I mean, the TLT can get to like 119, maybe. Yeah, I can. Oh, hold it. Let's look at this. Hold it. Well, yeah, it is. It's a small ABC up. Depends on whether that came. Give me one second here. I just want to see if this, it actually probably retraced too much for that. But it did take a swing out on a weekly with volume. The last, we, we took out, was 25 million versus 20. So if it is, let's see, that's 108. You got seven, 118. Yeah, you're probably going to go to 119. You know, there's, there's a little, there's somewhat relief, uh, but guess what, folks? All you have to do, you know, the, there's a million different analysts on a continual basis. In this particular case, there's a million analysts coming out saying, okay, you know, you've seen the worst rates in this, you know. What I would do, folks, okay, just look at the Fed funds rate. The Fed funds rate, okay, is 1.50 to 1.75. Well, the Fed's telling you that it's going to basically three, you know. So the, the bottom line is that, you know, uh, you know, we're not even close to where the Fed is going. You know, it, it's actually blowing my mind sometimes that uh, there's so many people, uh, you know, uh, basically turn around saying, oh, no, they, they're going to have to go back down on rates. It's like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, you evidently uh, have not seen how inflation can wreck, you know, everything. And no one's immune from inflation, folks, okay? If you think you're immune from inflation and you're sitting pretty, you're not. We're all going to be affected in a monster way. It just steals your money like this. Rips it out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials up 274. NASDAQ up 65. S&P's up 30. We'll come right back. of looming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors everything in the universe is governed by the fibonacci sequence this mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market to stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of sign up for the fibonacci 24 7 newsletter at tfnn.com when you subscribe you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Beth of Healy, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate you growling and prowling with us on this July 4th weekend, man. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Totally, yeah. man, totally. Let's go to our man John in Philly. Yeah, Philly and Boston is where it all started. John, what's going on, brother? Yes, sir. Liberty Bell, baby. Liberty Bell. I know. Pretty cool. Totally, man. It's a uh, good holiday weekend to your family upcoming. Thank you. And you, you also, man. Totally. Thank you, and uh, I'm calling Tom uh, just to uh, thank you for all your help over the years. Uh, of course, uh, all of your uh, uh, dinners uh, know this from me over the years. There was something missing for me that you provided that I got to learn, you know, in that 2005-2010 time frame. Uh, so thank you for all that, but uh, to the point here and now, I just have to share an observation on COMEX Gold. You described the action today, uh, and as uh, and I'm listening uh, to your read of that market uh, quite closely the past couple of weeks. Uh, to paraphrase what I heard you say today, yeah, we had a nice intraday bounce, uh, but nothing is proven. The the uh, the selling pressure uh, continues here, but. Um, I will uh, share uh, the observation that the decline into today's low matched the decline into the spot contract back on May 16th. Okay. And the low that day, that was the June contract. That was the lead contract that day. The low was 1785. Right. And, and um, uh, for what it's worth, I you know you know me all these lows I'm trying to buy and looking for uh, intermediate term bottom, which of course has not, I uh, repeat, has not occurred. Um, but um, uh, back on May 16th, when we made that low at 1785 and bounced, uh, you observed, and I, I just remember this distinctly, maybe it was that day or maybe it was the day after, that that May 16th, June gold 1785 low came down and tested the February gold low of January 28th, which was down at that 1780, 1781 level. So uh, you've always, uh, well, excuse me, you've, you learned long ago when you shared with us and were the beneficiaries of your teaching there 
of the power of swing points. And I will just observe today's low just went to that prior swing point, which was May 16th, and interestingly enough, January 28th, went to that swing point and couldn't go any further, at least for now. So uh, I acted upon that this morning. Of course, that means nothing, you know, other than just a couple hours here today. But we shall see. Uh, and I keep on thinking one of these days, one of these reversals is going to mean something. And, of course, I don't know if it's today or not, but I do have to thank you for uh, educating us and just reminding you uh, uh, of the observation you shared with us back on May 16th. Well, listen, man, I, so, uh, I appreciate the kind words, John. You know what's so interesting right now, uh, John, and folks, about this market? So, picture last week in the Gold Report, right? What I wrote, folks, this is very unusual, trust me, okay, is that there were so many stocks that it looked like they were just beautiful setups, right? And, you know, I didn't buy one, okay, because what, what was happening is I kept looking, I'm saying, this is something that's not right here, man, because to me, John, you know, and to you probably also, you know, gold should already really took, taken off. So... You know, we'll see where this shakes out, man. Um, you know, this dollar is strong and it won't back off. So, you know, I'm going to actually be a lot more conservative right now um, until I, I see this. Because, you know, you know, I've been talking about the ABC structure down and the S&P. And, you know, if they're going to take everything south, they're going to take everything south. You know what I mean? So... You know, we'll see. Because, I mean, you know, realistically, yeah, we know that came down hard today and bounced right back. So that's pretty cool. There's no doubt. I, you know, I don't like the volume on it. Um, but I don't like the, you know, the dollars holding, man. So we'll see where this shakes out, man. But we will. Uh, time will tell. We will. Because we know. See, John and, and I uh, know and the gold bugs know, folks, when you catch this right, you know, people say, oh, this and that. Well, guess what? You know, in the gold market, you can do 30, 35 percent, 40 percent pretty quick. And you take your bread and, you know, you go on vacation for a bit. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> I like vacations. Yeah. So uh, anyway, uh, okay. you have yourself a great weekend. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. You have a great one, a safe one. And, you know, there's always a question, uh, best for the, can gold go up and the dollar go up, right? Yeah. And what has happened is that, yes, it can, but it only does it for a little period of time. Because commodities are priced in dollars, so the higher that the dollar goes, you know, commodities don't have to go higher. Because let's say that you're in Europe, well, guess what? You're buying gold so cheap you can't see straight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you, do you, no, well, actually, no, it's just the opposite, okay? But, but the bottom line is, is that... The dollar has been king, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Is, and, and it, is it still going up? It's still going up. It wow. went up, yeah, it's up 463 ticks. So the, the DXY is the dollar there. And 1,000 okay. ticks is a penny, okay? Yeah. But that is a monster move. Wow. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? You know, it is the dollar, so. It is the dollar. There you go. <laughs> it, is, it is the dollar. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, you know what I mean? So everything, so the, the market is up today a little bit, huh? The market's up a little bit, yeah. you know, but... 28 S&P points is nothing could compare to how the market went down, you yeah, know. Yeah, in the past few days. In the past six months, I'd say. Months, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just it, uh, you know. up and down. Right. And as we talk real estate here, you know, um, what's been up this week? Well, we've been seeing some shifts, that's for sure. So, uh, as you know, I finally got uh, a property under contract that's financed. Right. Yeah. And we've been looking for about four months now. Okay. And up until this point, there was no shot at getting the, a house like that under contract that was financed. So okay, no. nice. So not only finance, but we got an inspection period as well. You did. <laughs> so and how, what was the cost of the house? Uh, only two twenty-five. That's even better though. Yeah. Because, so, because it's so low. So what? Best for saying here, folks. What happens is this: there's been no house that we've seen in, in this whole area. That really goes under three hundred thousand. That is not bought with cash in a second, right? Yeah, in a second. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'm not. Uh, we're talking about like within hours. Yeah, yeah. You know, we could call the broker up, and then you call the broker up, and then uh, yeah, it's already gone. Well, geez, I mean, you, yeah. you, you don't do any more bids. No, no, no. You know, so we got about, a really good one. Yeah, yeah I so, know. So this one, finance and inspection. <laughs> <laughs> that that that's a difference. Because that... before you could maybe somehow swing a uh, finance one with no inspection, you know? right? 
But this one's like a regular. You and know, then standard. you know, uh, tell me about the the one of the houses you did get inspected. Uh, and this this guy happened. This is a funny story, folks. This guy happens oh. to be a tiger, <laughs> but he was inspecting the house. But he was saying they weren't busy, right? Because it. Yeah, yeah. Because up until this point, there was no uh, inspection periods at all. Was, exactly. Uh, cash, no inspection, and uh, they said they only got lucky because some insurance companies went out of business. That's right. So all these homeowners had to get a four point again to get insurance from yeah. a different company. So and so picture this, folks. I, I don't know how long the, the guy hasn't been listening. I think he was on the radio and. He yeah. Said, yeah, that's that Fibonacci guy, yeah, right? The Fibonacci guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Best and I are coming right back. We're going to be uh, coming up with Alan from Boston. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up 259. NASDAQ up 59. s and up 29. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 255. Nasdaq's up 61. S&P's are up 29. Let's go to our man, Alan, from Boston. Alan, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Good, thank you. Good. Let me just sh uh, shut the audio here. Listen, I, I had called you maybe a couple months ago just asking about the XBI, and I, I looked at it again the other night and saw the, uh, sort of a big volume day down at the bottom. I, do you any any thoughts on the XBI at all? Okay, so let's take a look at this. So the, the XBI, folks, is the S&P Biotech uh, ETF. You know, uh, bottom line, you get, you know, a lot of biotechs that are in there. Let me just look at this. So um, I guess it looks like there's a lot of small biotechs, right? Yeah, there are, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so... There we go. Let's line this up. Okay, so I'm gonna bring. I know, the trend, I know the trend in the market is 
is down. I mean, I listen to you all the time, and uh, uh, but I didn't know if I, you, you always say there's a bull market somewhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I didn't know if that's where this might be. Uh, you know, um, uh, I don't know. So weird, man. Well, bring it back. I, you know, on first. Let's see. It, it, it rejected lower price going all the way back to 2020. Mm -hmm. Low is still in there, though, man. You know, I mean, is, if you get into this for a bit and see if you can get a bounce, it's, you know, yeah, maybe you can get up to this $83. You're at 76 But it's still okay. in pretty tough shape. I mean, that, that, that low that was established, Alan, at, at 61.78 is basically still there. That's a high-volume okay. low. And we came down, okay. we only came down at 62.13. It would have been great if it came down there, but it didn't. Yeah, uh, I guess I was looking at that. Uh, so that that low that you're, um, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, I hey, see it. 61. Okay. Hey, let, let, right. me ask, let me ask you something, though. I know that, okay, oncology, right? Yeah. Uh, looking at, on, do you know any oncology equities? Because that, that whole deal about what has happened folks is that uh, that you know that psma deal that yeah okay so what happened what ha what's happening folks is that this just got okayed by the uh would be the fda right so is it, there's yeah. a different type of imaging that's happening right now in cancer folks okay that you know the the bottom line that if you're doing chemo that what ends up happening is that it can grab the cells and not destroy all your cells that's something that I mean I, I you know I I know your business and the bottom line is that it seems to me that you know equities that are into that I think that's gonna that's that's that's, that's a big dynamic change isn't it Yeah it is and I I think that's where uh, you're I mean the, I can tell you from when I started out uh, in medicine to now that the movement and the, the change has been dramatic. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think certainly on the cancer side, maybe not so much when you're think, talking about Alzheimer's and some of, of those diseases that it's a little more difficult because the experimental models are different uh, for the, for the brain. It's hard to do brain experiments, but you know, cancer cells, they can use animals and they have different models that are easy for them to use. So the, and then all the stuff with the human genome and allowing them to map and come up with specific treatments back in the old days. I mean, the treatments for some of these cancers were, you know, you have lung cancer it was sort of the same treatment. Uh, everyone got the same thing. Right. And now it's specifically tailored to your DNA and your genetics. So I think that, you know, there's going to be an explosion here at some point in terms of, of, uh, of, uh, of, of treatments and uh, diagnostic things and all that. Um, so, you know, and I think I've mentioned to you before that in Somerville and Cambridge, the real estate boom is just crazy. Which yes. It's all biotech. No, no, and I can see it. When I, I saw it, what happened is I saw an article come across the Bloomberg, man. I says, hold it. And I was, I was reading this, and I'm saying to myself, okay, so it, was, it explained it really well, meaning when the yeah. FDA passed this whole deal. And so it kind of, we got, you know, inside the den, we got a couple of targets that really into the biotech. So I was kind of getting my head around this article, and it seemed that, you know, it could be a dynamic change. I, I guess what happened... Yeah. Is that even when COVID come with the mRNA, you know, come into it? I'm saying to myself, okay, medicine seems to be jumping up quite a bit right now. You know what I mean? Like, a absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think that, and I think as you said, that the the whole the whole thing of of uh, of the the vaccine and the mRNA vaccines was a huge game changer when it came to vaccination, and then the other applications, you know, that it's going to have for all these other diseases is. Uh, uh, is, uh, I, you know, I don't think we even have scratched the surface. Right. So right. I, I can see that where this is going to go. It just, I wasn't sure if this was the time to bite on it, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll wait here a little bit longer. I, and so, listen, man, I'll, anyway. I'll keep my eye on it and I'll shout out to you. I, I, I'll pull All it right. up every day, man, for sure. All right, Tom. Thanks a lot, Tom. Take care. You have a great one. Have a safe one, man. You too, Tom. Happy Fourth. Happy Fourth. You got you got to love all the tigers and tigresses. Oh yeah. He, you know, it's, folks, we got we got them all. I mean, that, that's I happen to know him. We're from Boston. Okay, the bottom line, he's a 
doctor at the Mass General. I mean, and there's nothing like the Mass General, man. <laughs> <That's> amazing, <yeah. laughs> there's no doubt, man. Let's go to our man, Jose. Okay, wait to hear this guy. <laughs> Jose, look who I got beside me. Oh, yeah. I remember <laughs> Jose. Yes, good afternoon, fellas. You guys look dapper as ever. Uh, How you doing, you, man? You. Great, great. Hey, uh, Tom, this, this rally smells like Jerome Powell and the Fed wanting everybody to have that good feeling around the cookout, around the grill. That's all this is. I, I agree, man. I mean, it, it's, it's... Listen, we've seen these before. I mean, listen, I, and, you know, folks, okay, I would love for the market to go up and... You know, we're all cool. I think one of the things that um, is different this time, and it's not that it's different. We haven't been in a downtrend, you know, for 16 years. Yeah. So, you know, you've never seen yeah. one. You're, you're, yeah. you're only 30, right? 33. 33. Oh, you're yeah. getting so old, man. How'd you get so, how'd you get yeah, so old, man? Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, we have a lot of that, Jose. Do you know what I mean? That, you yeah. know. They haven't seen it, and that's sad, because I remember the first downtrend I was in, man, like, I'm lucky I had my head left. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, what, what do you mean? Hey, well, I'm, I'm still doing the, the traditional turf and surf growing uh, this 4th of July. However, because of the cost of beef and inflation prices and everything, it, we're going to be having Beth, not beef, B-E-F. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I'm, I'm getting scared about the lobster. The lobster <laughs> with no lobster. <laughs> hey, hey, um, we hey, love I you, man. A, um, I've got a question, a probability question for you two chaps. Okay, you're on a game show. Uh, there are three doors. Are you with me so far? Yes. Okay. There's a Ford 150 electric truck behind one of the doors, and there's goats behind the other two doors. Okay. Okay. Say you pick door number one. Yeah. And I say, uh, uh, fellas, I'm going to show you what's behind door three. I open it, and it's a goat. Okay. And I say, do you want to switch from door one to door two? Does it up your probability? What is your answer? No. I yeah, no. I'm supposed to know that. It, what, is, what is the answer? Well, uh, I can tell you that an MIT math professor blew it. A university mathematician with a PhD in University of Florida blew it. And uh, the answer is yes. You say thank you. I'll take the 33 and a third uh, uh, probability that it's going to be in door number two. You definitely want to switch from door one to door two. You, it, 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 uh, you've upped your chances 33 and a third percent. You are awesome, man. Hey, have a great fourth, man. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Always switch. That's the answer. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. There we go. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vistagold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vistagold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vistagold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vistagold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has just launched their July 4th Tiger Dollar Sale. For one week only, we've doubled all the bonuses, where you can now get up to 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus on your Tiger Dollar purchase. Tiger Dollars are good on all TFNN newsletters, webinars, and trading services, and they never expire. For all the details and to get your Tiger Dollars before the sale ends Tuesday, July 5th, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 347, Nasdaq's up 94, S&P's up 41. And folks, don't forget, this is the last weekend uh, for the Tiger Dollar Sale. Uh, just go to the front page of TFNN. The way the Tiger Dollar Sale works is that you can save up to 40%. Uh, if you have any product at TFNN right now or plan to get any in the future, it's a great way to save money. Uh, and the way this works is that you can buy $500 worth of Tiger Dollars. You get an additional 100 a total of 600 which is a 20% discount. You can buy 1,000 and get a $300 bonus of 30%, 1,300, and the max is 1,500. You can get a $600 bonus or a 40% bonus, and you'll get $2,100. Uh, so it's a great way to save money, great way to get product at TFNN. Good on, man, Mr. Bester W. Healy here. We're talking real estate, we're talking rents, and you know, it's what we've noticed. So picture, folks, we're in Pinellas County. So you know, Pinellas is basically Clearwater, St. Pete, and... Yeah, Palm Harbor. And Palm Harbor, yeah. There's yeah. Just a bunch of small cities, but right. basically, you know, uh, St. Pete, Clearwater, you know. Bas yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. And what we've seen, now this is where it gets, the rents are astronomical here. Now, you know, the bottom line is that the there's more houses for sale, there's no doubt. There's more price decreases, yes. even in St. Pete. Oh, yeah. But rents... Guess what, folks? They're going up. Then they're not stopping. Yeah. They're not stopping. And you know, when Bestford and I were just talking about it, you know, we know the county really well, and so, uh, in your case, tell them tell them how it went down. I mean. Yeah. So basically, uh, you know, I had a condo for rent in Clearwater. Right. So it took me forty-two days <laughs> to rent it. it okay. Was a one bedroom, one bath, yeah. six hundred and sixty square feet. Yeah. Built in two thousand four, right? Okay. Nice building, everything. So I I got fifteen hundred, right? You're asking fifteen hundred, one yeah. bedroom, one bath. Bigger. Six. Built in two thousand four. Okay. Yeah, right. So then in St. Pete. Yeah. Got another one bedroom, one bath. Built in nineteen thirty eight. It's only four hundred and sixty nine square feet. Yeah. Asking seventeen hundred. Right. And I, I, I probably got 25 calls in. And this just happened, folks, this week. In two days. You yeah. know, so the, the, the thing to get out of this, depending where you are in this great country of ours, folks, is this. <clears throat> St. Pete um, has approximately 280,000 people here right now. Yeah. And what has happened is that as all these high rises keep going up, well, the bottom line is that everyone wants to live here. Yeah. So it's not like a suburban community, you know. It, it, it the difference is insane, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's only what 20, 25 minutes. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it. you're talking 20, 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah, so the most. And, right? then, and then you're right next to Clearwater Beach over there in downtown Clearwater, but nobody wants to be there. So right. seeing the difference down here in downtown St. Pete is insane, isn't it? Yeah. No, I know, I know. And even being in the business, folks, this is how much it's changed, right? I have what my one bedrooms in the carriage house is 661 yeah. and when and these are brand new and the last one I rented the person wanted to give me 2 grand I says no give me 1800 cuz I what I tend to I want people in there 4 5 6 years at a time do you know what I mean yeah. even though they're brand new because I 
and I took 1,800, but that thing now would get like 2,400 or something oh, yeah. in a second. I know, because oh, we, we're talking, you know, but it's in, it's that's how fast the escalation has gone also. Yeah. And one, listen to this, oh man, this is amazing. In the front units now, so picture, what I build, folks, I build a front unit, three bedrooms, two baths, one laundry room, 1,935 square feet. Yeah. Awesome place, right? I mean, if I sell them, they go for 960. The next one probably go for a million, right? Yeah. Um, they're getting 5,000. The guy, they, listen to this, man. This is crazy. <laughs> one of my tenants wanted to buy one of these other houses, right? I sold him the house. He's getting 5,000 for the front. Yeah. And he's not, he, well, he can't he beat it. He's not getting that much. For the studio, he's getting a studio apartment. He's getting 1,800 for the studio. Yeah. So the studio's only 441 feet. Yeah. But it's still amazing. That's, that's big money. That's big know? money. Well, I mean, we couldn't believe it. You, no, I, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. Because, just, because when the leases come up, because I'm, I'm only getting 2,800, right? Yeah. yeah at, the, so. at the max. Yeah. A I couple of them, I get 2,500. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that, a big that, difference in that, two years, huh? Oh, it's my God. Two, three years. So. Crazy. Yeah, location, huh? Definitely. It's What's going to be intriguing in this downdraft is the locations, number one, and then stratosphere, where are the hits going to come in? Do you yeah. know what I mean? You know. So, yeah, as long as you're in a prime spot, it should be it should be less. Better off. I think it's going to be less, you yeah. know. Um I think it's all going to be hit. That's my. That's kind of my take on it. Because what does happen, which I've said many times, is that all of us, our signatures, worth less money. Yeah. So that means everything's worth less money. And that the the, the wild card here really is when we haven't had a downdraft for 16 years. I mean, that's yeah. that's insane. It's yeah. not insane. I mean, listen, I'd love to have never have a downdraft. I'm not saying yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> but when you take the aspect of a downdraft. Or inflation making you poor overnight. Yeah. It's pretty intense. Yeah, right? Just like we were talking yesterday, huh? So, so you should have heard Bestford and I up in the office yesterday. So tell me what you said. You said that. Well, I was, uh, I was paying off one of my credit cards. And right. The, I only use Oh, this is perfect. Wait to hear for, this. This is for awesome. Parking downtown, yeah. right? Right. And so I was looking, I was like, man, since January uh, or June 20th. Right. So yesterday, I spent twenty dollars on parking. I was exactly. Like, I was like this is crazy. Exactly. Because you know? I barely go down there to park anyway. No, totally. But so it adds up. And so fetch it. He's talking about twenty dollars, right? Doesn't seem like a lot of money. I said to him, the exact same thing happened to me the day before. Yeah. And what it was, folks, is this. This is this is what tends to happen in inflation, because we've been spending money for. More money on everything, you know, the last six, eight months in, in a big way. All of a sudden, and we all should do this, okay, is that you stop paying attention a lot more. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, man, this is crazy. Every because you, you really feel that, you know, it can take you south pretty quick, man. I mean, yeah, I mean it's, you know. Every time you go somewhere, you're just looking at it like, what happened here? What happened? <laughs> and inside the grocery store, of course, folks, okay, you know, yeah. you see sad scenes on a continual basis, man. You know, like, if you eat good food i mean i can see i can almost see why mcdonald's is going to get busy i mean because for yeah. two bucks you can't even get an apple for two bucks anymore no, that's yeah. close I mean, I mean but you know that middle aisle um which you should stay out of by the way okay yeah um you know the, the cost have gone up dramatically man yeah and everything yeah every time i go there you know for a few things right you know, 30 bucks right you're like okay yep. yeah i know <laughs> well, i know <laughs> and you know i don't it, 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 because of the way that the political atmosphere is, I can't picture that the, you know, Nixon put price controls in. So picture this, that you went in the supermarket and they couldn't go up on the prices anymore. That's crazy. Isn't that wild? I can't even but let me tell you, here. inflation got so bad then, folks, okay, I'm not exaggerating. Every single week you go in the supermarket and it would be like more money, like dramatically. And they finally put price controls on it. But then Volcker came in, hit hit the button, brought interest rates up, smoked, you know, the economy. And, you know, when I look at this inflation, man, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, it's not going to go away like overnight, man. Oh, yeah, it keep going up, huh? I think so, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think, we, I, I think we probably peaked. But even if you peak, it go up 6 or 7% a year. That's the same. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. Three years, 18%, that's 20, that's 20%. Yeah. You had 100 grand, you got 80 grand. Stay right there, folks. Best of night. I come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 275, Nasdaq's up 72, S&Ps are up 31. So what we did have this week is that if we take a look at this 10-year, you're going to see like the big news yesterday was that mortgage rates went to f the average 5.7%, imagine that. Yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> it got under six, and it got under six, folks, because you're at 2.8, you know. Uh, that being said, and we'll see, if we take a look at this, you can see that we're at 2.8. If you're watching Tiger TV, you see that high the last three months, 3.4. Now watch this, this is where this gets wild. We go back a year ago, a year ago, 1.1, 3.4. Wow. wow. Isn't that wild? Big difference. Even six months, we do six months, 1.6, 3.4. Yeah. You know, so, um, you know, bottom line is that. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen interest rates this high, you know, so since 2013, right. I believe, yeah. Right. And I think it, five and a quarter was the highest I ever right. did a deal on. Right. Yeah. Imagine that. And, it may, and he's done a lot of deals, folks. This was this. This is. So the, the thing that's wild, I think, in the marketplace in general is that. Um, now, yes, the first time I bought a house, I was 14 and a half percent. But guess what? I was still only 20, 21, and I didn't, I, that's how it was. I didn't know that rates could ever be 3% and 5%. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so what happened there, and this is it's important to understand too, what happened is that if you owned a house, that's one of the reasons that the houses went up so quick, because as the rates went down, the houses went up. Well, the correlation is just the opposite now. Yeah. Rates go up. Pri high, high, get down. Yeah, you know. 
Sad but true. It's what you, know? you can afford, right? It's what you can. And then one of the Tigers came up with a great thing. Thanks, Mark, about the the rent structure. I wasn't even thinking about that. That rent structure saying that yeah, there's so many people that kind of uh, qualify now for the mortgage. Yeah. That that makes a huge difference, man. Now they got the rent. Yeah. Pretty wild. Well, listen, everyone, have a great Fourth of July, a safe Fourth of July. Come back and visit uh, Tommy Monday morning. Light off lights of firecrackers. Don't blow your freaking hand off. <laughs> no, don't hurt anyone else, but make sure you light off firecrackers. Oh, yeah. Wee! Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.